Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Making Investments Simple and today I would be talking about um, your medical expenses, health, healthcare funds. So my whole channel is, is dedicated to making your investments simple and how you can, um, you can uh, invest wisely all your savings and investment things like that. So this is extremely important because ultimately your money has to grow. Otherwise, if you are going to keep it in your bank account, it's not growing at all. With, with a percentage of 3.5 to 6% per year, um, it's not growing anywhere. And um, how it's not growing is uh, completely depends on if you are keeping it idle. So if you are keeping, uh, keeping on increasing your investment like 5,000 savings today and the next month 10,000, the, the money is still the same. It's like keeping your account in in peggy bank where um, you are putting it in a box 5500 rupees 5000 and you, even if you keep on increasing it's just the same money and it cannot beat inflation what you need to do is find out a way where whatever amount of money you are saving or keeping it aside it's also growing it with time because inflation the inflation is nothing but but the cost of living and expenses uh, living expenses is increasing every year so the way it is increasing every year that's the way um, uh, your investments and your wealth should also grow it should grow faster than than your um, than than your living costs that's the whole idea of investments in general itself so one of the important things for uh, living is is um, your health and um, why uh, people people always consider this uh, and uh, i'm sorry people always ignore this particular factor while trying to save uh, for um, house or vacation etc people always have to remember that a healthcare fund also should be a part of a continuous portfolio and how you can fund it so uh, many people uh, think about uh, purchasing a health insurance uh, but um, you need to understand that there could be an expenses um, which which will exceed uh, your hospitalization and insurance cover so if your insurance is covering for around 5 lakh rupees per year please do remember that it doesn't if, if this year if you do not utilize it it doesn't carry forward so that means 5 lakhs which is gone is gone and the next year is, is a fresh 5 lakhs entry. So it does not keep on accumulating it. However, the money which you invest, money which you keep on investing in um, um, in, in a special fund or, uh, or investment fund, uh, it will keep on growing over the years. But as I told you, a healthcare premium for 5 lakhs will cost you around uh, 15,000 um, to uh, 5,000 to 20,000 or even more depending on the uh, facilities uh, every year and um, but it does not cover everything it does not cover pre-existing diseases etc so that will um, that will always be a factor when you are thinking about keeping um, keeping these healthcare funds so what you need to do is you you can um, Keep on uh, saving separate uh, amount of um, amount which is growing at a uh, six to eight percent per annum, and uh, which you can use it for your um, emergency healthcare needs. For example, a trained nurse will charge anywhere between one thousand to one thousand two hundred rupees for a day shift at patient's house. So, if you want to buy a small equipment or rent it, the cost keep keeps on adding. So inflation in healthcare must also be considered. So as I told you, this article also talks about similar things what I'm talking here. So a yeah, healthcare fund, if it is growing at um, 6 to 8% per year, and if you are keep on accumulating that amount for a longer time, it can be a very, very good corpus uh, even during your retirement. I'm not saying that this will uh, not cover, uh, you should not take a health insurance. What I'm saying is, um, you should take this as an additional savings apart from your health in health insurance which you take it from which you get it from employer and also one you should definitely take one separately uh, 
uh, for yourself um, even if you lose if you do not have that job so one insurance uh, separately uh, one health insurance completely pure health insurance one you would always be covered from the employer and one is is, is a, a separate emergency corpus healthcare fund which you can call it uh, you can you should keep on accumulating it um, and uh, this is the this is the fund which you can actually uh, take it out during medical emergency so um, hope you enjoyed this video this is just an overview of it i will try to create more uh, productive videos where you can actually um, see what are the what are the good health fair funds available at this point of time in india and uh, to give you more insights on it so until then uh, please keep watching on um, my my channel for other videos and i'll be happy to give you more insights uh, on stock markets investments insurances um, ulips um, on any, any kind of uh, any kinds of investment scheme so also very soon i will be launching a mentoring course in uh, stock markets trading and uh, i will I, i also plan to um, start a webinar series every week um, like where, where you can ask questions on one particular topic so feel free to write um, the topics which you would like to hear more from me and i'll be happy to create uh, more videos on those topics so that it will be um, helpful for you so um, thank you so much um, for watching this video and i will see you again on my next video